Hello everyone, this is Red Racer again, and I'm finally back with another Nintendo video. Usually I've just been doing gameplays with Titanfall 2, but I already got a Gen 10 level 50, and I'm waiting for Respawn to unlock Gen 11, so till then we'll be, be if it takes a long time, we'll be making a lot more videos like these. Alright, so I am going to talk to you about how to save money and accessories for the Nintendo Switch. I don't have it with me yet. Um, I'm one of the normal people and we will be picking it up on March 3rd. And I am going to be making an unboxing video for that, so stay tuned. But today we're gonna ha we're gonna try to save money on Nintendo Switch accessories, and this is a response to many comments on other videos, articles written, and even other videos made about how the Nintendo Switch can get really expensive really fast. I can't do anything about the controllers, but you can do something about saving money on games and other things like the dock. All right, let's get started. So first. We're going to talk about some things that you can buy really fast and save money. So obviously pre-order your Nintendo Switch or else you will be paying cutthroat prices on eBay. Some people were thinking that Super Bomberman R for 50 bucks was too much. Uh, I actually picked it up for $40 on Amazon with Prime. I pre-ordered my Nintendo Switch at GameStop and if you have enough points, um, you can actually save $10 off uh, new purchases. And I think you need 12,000 points or, or so. I know I have enough for that at a $10 a coupon, so I'll be using that. If you are around on February 11th at GameStop, you can trade in some games and get some extra cash. I think it's only like 10% more after your Pro Rewards credit. And now we're going to talk about the other things, and I actually have, um, have some items that I want to show you. Alright, so one of the first things you can do is actually not even buy anything. Um, a lot of people play Pokemon Go and kill their battery on their phones really fast. So you might already have a, one of these, which is just a, you know, a portable power bank. That's 10,000 milliamps, or actually 12,000. Theoretically, you should be able to charge the switch almost three times with this, but you're not gonna get three charges. You might get two charges like that. This one is 20,000 uh, milliamp hours. And these are pretty cheap. These are, this one actually cost $22. And this one cost uh, $20 also. It's solar and it's lighter. I got this one off Amazon for $40 or $38.55. I think it was on sale and you save like a dollar or something. So $38.55 for that. And that's 128 gigabytes. Um, that should be enough to get you started. You can get a 64 gigabyte card for like $20 now. Um, and you can get a 32 gigabyte card for $10 on Amazon. So if you want to save money and you're still on the fence about getting a bigger one or you want to wait until you get the one terabyte at a cheap price, you can get that for now. I think the biggest money saver is not buying a second a second dock. Um, I know a lot of people have maybe two TVs that they want to have. Oh, I want to buy another dock. It's okay having on my other TV. And yeah, you can do that. Um, but I mean, do you really want to have two docks and you know if you're gonna not play on the biggest screen in the house you might as well just play on the Nintendo Switch itself but then you're saying okay well I need to charge it so along with the power banks you have that but now you have a you need a cable and they sell the, the AC adapter I think it's like 30 or 40 dollars but if you go to Amazon you can get a nice six foot USB-C cable um, this costs ten dollars so that with the power bank that you probably already have and you don't have to buy another dock or another charging um, AC adapter. So there you go. So the cable's 10, the card is 40, that's 50 bucks. But I did get a headset from Amazon also for $13. It's uh, both speakers and, uh, well, the headphones and the microphone. See that? They're really comfortable, actually. Um, I'll put a link in the description of the actual items that I bought here. And the good thing I bought this is I bought it for my PC. So that's actually USB. So it's not a head um, headphone jack, it's USB. And I think the Switch does have some USB ports, so it might work on that. I hope it does. I would like to use this one. And the last thing you guys can do to save money is, if you wanna get a carrying case, you can get one that's like $20 or $30. 
it just simply carries the, the switch, the, the screen with the little Joy-Cons, you can't carry anything else. Or you can get one of the backpacks that Nintendo offers for $50, but I just got an Amazon Basics um, little carrying pouch for a... See if I can get through here. Yeah. And it's a carrying pouch for they recommend for a 10 inch tablet or a 10 inch laptop, also a netbook, you know, little laptop you could buy. And it's really soft and comfortable, it's really thick. It's the smallest bag I saw on Amazon that has thick padding. Anything smaller than this, and you're actually will be getting a, a sleeve. So it has some pockets there. You have games or something else there. And then if you go in here, you have a little strap, which I haven't even used yet just because I just bought it and I'm waiting this for my switch. So leave that there. And then here, one bag. There's a couple of dividers in here. In here, I guess for papers or something. I don't know. Maybe a headset. But yeah, it's very simple. It has a little bag in the front. It's very, very simple, but it, it does have very thick padding. You look at it, it's pretty thick. Put two car bags together. You'll see that it's actually thicker than that. So it does provide some decent padding, I think. I can't wait to use it. One last thing I forgot to mention is uh, you know, with the cable, if you don't want to use a power bank while you're at home, you can actually use one of these, which is just a um, an AC adapter or uh, it connects to the wall. So like that. It's from Anchor, so you know it's really good quality. It actually has four USB ports. And if you read the bottom, you'll see that it says right there. So it's five volts, eight amps max. And it's 2.4 amps maximum per port. So with this, you can theoretically charge really fast your switch, your power bank, or power banks, and maybe a Nintendo 3DS if you have it, or your phone. You know, you have four ports. And you do 2.4 amps, 2.4 amps, 2.4 amps, which is 7.2. And I don't know how they divide up the math after three, but when you have four, maybe they just go to two amps each. You know, so two, 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 two. Um, so even at 2 amps, charging a tablet or a phone or your Nintendo 3DS, that'll still be really fast. Um, even these uh, large power banks will charge relatively quickly with that. Um, my 20,000 milliamp hours uh, power bank will charge in around 12 to 13, 14 hours maybe, if it's completely drained. And if I'm lucky, this one, which is 12,000 will charge within um, eight hours, eight or nine hours. So there you go. Okay, bye. This is Red Racer signing off. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and share. And I will catch you on my next video.